In this video, I will provide you with the difference between the theoretical roof framing measurements and the actual roof framing measurements. And the actual roof framing measurements will be the notches that you will make for the seat cut and the cut that you will make for your ridge or when the rafters might be sitting on top of a beam or something else, some other design at the top or the bottom. And these measurements will need to be modified from what most roof framers will refer to as the theoretical roof framing measurements. And in our example here, we have a 20 foot wide span for our building. The building is 20 foot wide and half of that span will be 10 feet. We're going to need this measurement here to calculate the theoretical length of the roof rafter. And in this example here, we have a six and 12 roof pitch. So for every foot, we're going to go up six inches. So if we take 10 feet and multiply that times six, we're going to get a height here of five feet or 60 inches. And if we do all of our roof framing calculations, we're going to end up with a roof rafter that would go from this point here to the center of the ridge in this example, but that's not going to be the measurement that we're going to use to figure out the length of the roof framing rafter. We're not going to go to the center of the ridge we're going to be coming back a little bit. If we have an inch and a half wide ridge, we have a two by 12, for example, then we're going to need to come back three quarters of an inch here to end up with the actual measurement for our roof framing rafters. So again, we're going to use half of the span along with the vertical height of our roof framing to come up with the theoretical length of the roof rafter. If you cut your roof rafters without deducting or modifying them for any other components like your roof ridge or maybe shear panel that will be attached to the exterior wall framing, then you're going to end up with gaps either at the top here or at the bottom here where your seat cut is going to be located. And of course, the actual length of the roof framing rafter will be measured from three quarters of an inch in from half of the span. So 10 foot minus three quarters of an inch is going to be nine foot, 11 and a quarter inches. And you might consider using this measurement here. Subtract the thickness of your ridge from the middle of the span of the building to create a length you can use to calculate the actual length of the roof framing rafter so that you don't need to mess around with the theoretical measurements. And you can also increase the length of this span if you're going to be installing shear panel and the seat cuts on the roof rafter will be sitting over the shear panel and you won't be notching the shear panel around each one of the roof rafters. And now for the big question, why would you use theoretical roof framing measurements? Why wouldn't you always just use the actual measurements to calculate the length of the roof framing components? And you can do it either way. Some roof framers want to use the actual, some roof framers want to use the theoretical. So it will be totally up to you as to which measurements you choose to use. And for those of you who didn't know the difference between actual and theoretical, now you do.